This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. Okay, awesome, awesome. All right. Um, well, you already said that you guys don't 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 do team drivers, or it's their particular reason. I mean, because you know, I'm I'm going to pass the information on to my buddy. And, you know, uh, the market right now is just not good for team drivers for us. At least we have we really it's hard to get team loads to oh. where it benefits the company. So I, um, for the moment, we're not taking them. It's, we're not opposed to it. And we have hired teams previously. Mm-hmm. Just right now is not the time for us. So we're going to probably wait to see if the market gets better. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Recruiter Call Channel, where we make the call for you. And in today's MTC segment, we're going to be looking at NASUS. Out. Oh, I'm pronouncing that right. N a i s s u s out of Burridge, Illinois. They could be a black ops company, I guess. Don't quote me on that. But they are here in another Facebook sponsored. Posts looking for you guys. They said that safety is the driving force behind everything they do, and they require you to do 3,000 miles or more. Can you do 3,000 miles or more? I don't know. Let's find out more. Hey, good morning. Um, what's What'd you say the name of the company was? Aces? Nasus Inc. Oh, Nasus. Nasus. Okay. It yeah. sound it sounds like you said Aces. My fault. My my bad. Oh, that's okay. Uh I How ca- can I help you today? How you doing? I, I came across uh one of your Facebook posts. Um it says okay. it says here you guys is offering uh up to eighty up to eighty cent a mile. Uh is that um, what are you are you looking for a drive on or a flatbed? Uh well it says here that you guys got a got a lot of lanes available. So uh drive in? No, drive in pays seventy cents a mile, flatbed pays eighty cents a mile. Okay, okay. So that's what it means by up to eighty cents mm-hmm. a mile. Okay, okay. Um flatbed, do you have to have flatbed experience already or do you guys yes, train? You do. No, you have to have a minimum of a year experience. Okay, okay. And it says right here as a team, uh, if I decide to bring a partner with me, uh, I can I can do team. What drive- ad are you looking at, if you don't mind me asking? Because I'm going to be honest with you, it does not sound familiar at all. We're not hiring teams either. We stopped hiring teams at the end of last year. Okay. Well, it says uh, Nusis, uh, ne- I'm sorry, Nasus. Am I pronoun- pronouncing that right? Nasus? Yeah, uh, well, did you see that on Facebook or Yeah, yeah I'm I'm looking at that I'm looking at it as we speak. Uh it says that you guys offer W2 and 1099. Uh the pay average uh for drive in is 2450. Uh flatbed 29 and team is Could 28. Could be an old ad. But yeah, we yeah, no we're not hiring teams at this time. Okay. Um, so the the flatbed is 80 cents. Uh uh, eighty cents a mile and drive in is seventy cents a mile. If you're looking for W two, it's a ten cent difference. So for drive in, instead of seventy cents, it's sixty cents a mile. Okay, so uh, so if I decide for ten ninety nine, would that be like would that be like me leasing with option to to own, or is that like renting? No, we don't we don't do a lease to own. This is as a company driver. Oh, okay, okay. So, in other words, mm-hmm. I'll get an extra ten cent if I assume all responsibilities, pretty much. There's a difference. The reason it's ten cents less for W two is because the company has more expenses at that time. They have to pay for your workman's comp, um, just a bunch of different things that they have to pay for. Right. So, pretty much, me taking all the responsibility. Pretty much. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So for the flatbed, you said I had to have at least a year. Uh, I have now. Nah, it's not. I did drove a uh, flatbed before, but it was with a company that I've been with for uh, a couple of years. But it was it it was on and off with flatbed. But I'm interested in the driving. So, but how much experience do you require total? 
uh, for two years of over the road experience for either or. Well, well, just to be hired alone, it's two years of over the road experience. Okay, okay. Uh, what about what about the lanes that you guys have? What what lanes will we run? And do you guys run Canada? What lanes do you guys run? And do you guys run Canada? No, we don't run in Canada. All forty eight states. We don't have any dedicated work. It's all spot, spot freight. I'm really curious at what ad you're looking at. We have some stuff that we have some lanes that we might see here and there often, but most of our stuff is uh, spot freight. Okay, okay. Um, now, as far as mm-hmm. as far as ten ninety nine uh, goes, uh, you said it'd be ten cent difference. But do you guys take anything else out of our pay if we yeah, want to? Yeah, there's yes, there's two charges that we do. Uh, there's your occupational accidental coverage, which is like workman's comp. This is if you were to get hurt, it will cover your medical bills and a portion of your downtime. It's a forty-five dollar weekly charge. The second thing we charge is a safety security deposit. This is just if any damages to the truck on your behalf will come out of that safety security deposit. Um, that is twenty five hundred that the company collects. It's collected in a ten week period. For ten weeks, they take two fifty to go straight into that safety security deposit. If and when you decide to leave, it would be returned to you 45 days after you terminate. Okay, okay. So that means pretty much you guys go over the truck and everything and make sure it came back mm-hmm. the same way it the same way I took. Yeah. Okay, that's that's fine. Exactly. Okay. Uh what what mm-hmm. are the what are the equipment that we'll be driving and what are they governing that? Our trucks are all newer. They're 2021 and newer, so we have 2021s, 2022s, 2023s. We have Freightliner Cascadias. We have Volvos. Um, they're governed at 70. They all come with refrigerator, microwave, power inverter, iPass, prepass. And what what the computer system for our ELD? I believe we're using Samsara. Okay, I'm familiar with Samsara tablet. Um, current company that I drive for they they have a Sam Sarah, so I'm I'm familiar with it. Uh what about driver cameras? Do you guys have uh driver cams that face the driver? No, it's just face outwards. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Um now you say that we can run 1099 but we can do we we can come on as uh W2 and it would just be a 10 cent difference, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, I, well, would that be uh, a different in the miles that I can occur with you guys every week if I choose to do ten ninety nine or W two? What, what would be the average miles a week that I can get from you guys? Our drivers are driving uh, between three thousand and three thousand five hundred miles. Legal. So um, we're requiring our driver. Yes, and we use an ELD. They have to be legal hours. Um, we're requiring our drivers to minimally drive three thousand miles a week. If um, if the driver is driving less than that, to be honest, it would not work out here. Mm, okay, awesome, awesome. I, I'm a runner. Love to make money. Okay. <laughs> so I don't think you have Perfect. a problem out of me. Um, how about how about my home time though? I'm 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 out of Ohio. Where so. are you from? I'm out of Ohio, Ohio, so would I be able to take Ohio is yes. Go ahead. I'm sorry. They send you with they send you with the truck home. Ohio is minimum two weeks out. You can stay as long as you like, but we do require a minimum of two weeks out. Okay, awesome, awesome. Pet and rider policy, and how and how young can I bring my rider? I believe they have to be 13 and older. Um, uh, to have a rider with you, it's twenty two dollars and eighty eight cents a month. Um, pet policy is we'd have to look at the pet depending how big the pet is. Um, if they approve the pet, it's a thousand dollar safety security deposit. Is that and that's paid throughout my settlements pretty much, right? Uh, you can pay it up front if you can't, then they can do monthly payments okay. or weekly payments. I mean, okay, mm-hmm. awesome, awesome. All right, um. Well, you already said that you guys don't 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 do team drivers, or it's their particular reason. I mean, because you know, I'm I'm going to pass the information on to my buddy, and you know, uh, the market right now is just not good for team drivers for us. At least we have we really it's hard to get team loads to uh, where it benefits the company. 
So I, um, for the moment, we're not taking them. It's, we're not opposed to it, and we have hired teams previously. Mm -hmm. Just right now, it's not the time for us. So we're going to probably wait to see if the market gets better. All right. What's your policy on SAP drivers? Uh, if you're completely done with the SAP uh, program, there you don't have to do any follow-up tests. You don't have to do a return to duty test. You've already got that out the way. Then we can consider depending on what you're on SAP for. All right. Awesome. And what about, and I, I, I have like two more questions. The one, the one to the last question is what's your policy on felons? And my last question is, do you guys have a sign-on bonus or anything? It doesn't say here, but no, I'm just asking. There is no sign-on bonus right now, just because, once again, the market's not good. So we don't have a sign-on bonus. Um, for background checks, to be honest with you, there's we do take felons. It just kind of really depends. We do have a lot of loads that you know are government-based, so... Sometimes we could struggle not getting a driver there. So it just depends. Safety will have to look at it and determine if we're able to hire or not. All right, ma'am. Well, thank you very much. I, I, You know what? I know I forgot to ask, but um, how would you guys get me up there and what will be the uh, pre-employment drug screening? The drugs, uh, so our onboarding process is a two-day process. If you were to get approved, we would get you a ticket. Um, I usually book those nice and early. They'll pick you up from the airport. Uh, we take you to a clinic that's down the street from us. Um, we like to use that clinic because they give us drug test results fairly quick. Um, then you come into the office and just start orientation and some safety training. Okay, And awesome. we'll get you a hotel room for that night. Mm -hmm. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Well, great information. Uh, again, like I said, uh, it, it is on it. This, this was uh, posted in one of my Facebook groups uh, it, and it looks mm -hmm. like you guys posted it February 21st. I can't I can't assess of this, of I, this year. Yeah, I can't I can't assess it if it's this year, last year. I'm not sure. It just said February 21st. Oh. But uh but again, good. I mean, good talking to you. I mean, this is good information, and and I would I would definitely take this back to my partner and share it with him to see okay. if it's something that yeah. you know we both can can come come together. Uh, if we if myself or is if him is interested, uh, what would we do? Just give you a call back and get the ball rolling. Yep. Okay. Yes, correct. And then I can send you guys the application. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Bye-bye. Naces, everybody. Yes, sir. Now, I thought she said... I thought she said it was aces. I, I'm not sure. I, I, I thought it was... Aces, the way she was pronouncing it, but it's Naces, N A I S S U S Inc. It's located out of Bird Ridge, Illinois. Now, I guess you could say that this is a black ops company. I want to say that because all Illinois companies are black ops companies, but this particular company is offering two tiers the first tier is a w-2 and the other tier is a 1099 now if you decide to go 1099 it will be 70 cent a mile and if you go w-2 it will be 60 cent a mile all right the difference is, is like i said before you will be occurring all the responsibilities of the company you know what i'm saying the company won't the company won't have to worry about no responsibilities you do but if you go w2 this is what they got to offer as far as w2 health vision and dental 401k pto safety and referral bonuses rider and pet policy fully loaded equipment with uh refrigerators and a microwave no tvs Trucks governed at 70. They have all the trucks, Volvos, pretty much. That's what you would get out of Illinois. Uh, no Northeast region and no New York City. And you will get a settlement every week. Requirements is no more than two moving violations in the past two years. Minimum two years of verifiable CDL experience. And, and yeah. 
yeah, that's uh, that's that's pretty much what. And no DUIs, no DUIs. Okay, so Nasus out of Burridge, Illinois. If you or anybody you know that drives for Nasus, let us know in the comments below. Let us know how the company is treating you. Is this a is this a good company to work with? I mean, the conversation with the recruiter was pretty good. Pretty good. Now, she wasn't familiar with what the uh, ad was in the Facebook. I, again, it was posted February 21st. So that could have been this year or it could have been last year. She don't know. I don't know. I just got it. <laughs> but they are they they are doing uh, drive in flatbed and team drive. Now, within that two years of experience to do flatbed, you have to have at least a year of experience for flatbed. All right? All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of MTC. If you guys want to know more about uh, Burr Ridge, the inform of uh, Burr Ridge, NASIS, where I get Burr Ridge from? If you want to know more about NASIS, the information and the IntelliLink will be in the description. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? Next, 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 next.